Well, hello, I'm Pastor Craig, and this is day six. I want to remind you that we're in the middle of praying and seeking God to not only be effective disciple makers, but to be an, a, a disciple, a true disciple, uh, an empowered disciple. Uh, so that's really our focus for this two-week series. And I want to remind you to um, get the app if you haven't, where you can get access to these daily prayer reminders, um, as well as the website. And so if you do go there, you can kind of see what I'm reading from. You can see some of the notes, because um, I'm not going to tell you everything that's in there. It's for you to go explore. Um, but today we're continuing on day six in the book of John. We're going to jump forward from yesterday into chapter 15. And really what we're looking at is as Jesus is talking to his disciples, he's really referring now to about what it means to be growing in maturity, to be spirit empowered. Um, and this is that story. In fact, uh, we're in the middle of this sermon series uh, that, that we're working on and it's we. And But one of the, the, the key places we started with is being the story of Jesus says, look, I'm the vine and you're the branch. And so that's really where you're going to be looking at in the book of John today. What does it mean to be connected to the vine? What does it mean to be uh, not only receiving life and encouragement from the vine, Jesus, through the Spirit, but also what does it mean to bear fruit? And that bearing of fruit uh, is an important part of the journey. In fact, as we were going through this study a few weeks ago, I was really uh, just Im impacted as God reminded me of something in the Garden of Eden that happened. He, you know, he created everything and then creates man. And, and then he's got Adam and Eve there and he says, be fruitful, be fruitful and multiply. And oftentimes we think about the bearing of children, the fruit of children. But I think that what he's saying is be fruitful, bear much fruit. Be a disciple maker. Multiply the earth with disciples, not just children, but with disciples. And I was just, I was kind of intrigued by that. I had never connected the idea of bearing much fruit to the even right back in the garden. So here's this story in John. We're told that to be connected to the vine. So here's some questions for you to ponder today. Um, the first one is how is your connection to the vine? How are you doing with that? And so how do I stay connected? Well, how's your daily prayer time? Hey, if you're watching this, hopefully this is increasing your time with God, approaching him and, and asking him to empower you and work in your life. But how about how's your time in God's word? How frequent is that time? Um, is it drudgery? Is it a checklist? Or is it uh, just like you can't wait for it like a meal? Like... Uh, there are times in my life where I thought, boy, I really need to do this, and, uh, and that's okay, but what a sad thing when I do things that should be out of a flow of desire as opposed to a checklist. And then there's seasons in my life where, um, you know, I like to eat meals. I love, love food. It's a great gift that God lets us eat wonderful foods, um, but as I wake up and as I go through my day, I crave to be in his word, to hear him speak in his word, to read his word, uh, not only to challenge me, but to, to grow me uh, through his spirit. So how's your, how's your time in God's word? And finally, how are you doing at loving others? Um, Jesus is very clear. He says the outpouring of this, the product of maturity should be a love for others. You know, he says, people will know you're my disciple by how you love each other, other disciples, but I think also as you love others. In fact, you know, there's this great command. It's like, look, love God and love your neighbors. So how is your love for others? What does that look like? So um, prayer focus today. Here's the first one. I'll let you read the others on your own. Um, this is, again, a personal request of God to do something in your life. So here it is. As you go to prayer, remember who we're praying to first. Give him thanks, but ask God to prune areas in your life that are not bearing much fruit. Some of you may not like the response you get when you approach God with that question, but that is reality. If there are things in my life that I'm a part of that don't bear fruit, if there's things that are distracting uh, my ability to share the gospel effectively, to make disciples because what I'm doing here doesn't match what I'm supposed to be uh, looking like, I'm asking God today to prune me. And uh, pruning is a result of trimming away excess, cutting off dead branches, 
And uh, those are difficult things. So, uh, you know, we don't approach these questions lightly. So in your prayer time today, um, understand that I'm gonna ask you to really uh, approach God and ask him to do some things uh, in your life. And the outpouring of this, if pruning happens and God is the pruner, the, the byproduct of that should be new fruit that begins to develop, what will happen out of that. So I uh, hope that you uh, can encounter God today in a, in a powerful way as you approach him, but also that you would be humble to hear what he might have to say to you today. So uh, enjoy your, your prayer time. This is the end of week one, uh, and we'll start up again on Monday. See you for day seven.